and it's paying off, thanks to OnlyFans. In fact, she says it saved her from financial ruin. She's joined a growing list of high profile. I just wanna go ahead and just put this out here. I quit truck driving. I quit the business. There's one particular comment that I saw. They said something along the lines of, "You just something like basically, I just need to, like, why can't I just be a truck driver?" I am officially on OnlyFans. I bet you're wondering why I'm standing outside of the shutdown gentlemen's club. Well, today's compilation, I thought this would be quite fitting. In 2020, there was a great influx of individuals coming into the trucking industry looking to strike gold. By 2024, more than half of those trucking companies were shut down. During that time period of 2020, there was a great amount of females joining the industry. And in today's compilation, we're going to focus on female truckers who then decide to make different paths, or should I say take different paths, because their truck wasn't making as much money. As you know, some decided to quit. Some decided to scam. <laughs> Kier Henderson. <laughs> and some decided to, uh... <laughs> Let's just get to it. Let's say there's a TV show, and the show has to deal with a lady. A lady that is super thick, big top, big bottom, almost like an IG model. But there's a catch. She drives trucks for a living, goes all across the country, maybe even into Canada, telling her life story, sexual escapades and all, with good and bad relationships with her crazy boyfriend. Would you watch it on Netflix? You just might watch it because you wouldn't believe that it's true. But stop the show. It is true. It's true because the person I'm talking about, it's this lady, Coco's Journey. Except for one last thing, she's also OnlyFans. Fun fact, according to techreport.com, a business insider spoke with eight OnlyFans models and their reported annual earnings range from 143,000 to 5.4 million. Another survey found that the average OnlyFans creator earns around $180 monthly. These statistics are based on a sample of creators and may not represent all creators on the platform. Only OnlyFans has the full picture, of course. <laughs> I am officially on OnlyFans as of today. So I will tell you how to find it here in a minute. But first, there's a lot of confusion as to what OnlyFans is. So I gotta be careful what I say. I don't wanna get this video pulled. So I'm gonna use the P word. This is not, OnlyFans is not the P word. If I wanted to just flat out and do the P thing, then <laughs> I would be on P hub, right? It makes sense. So OnlyFans is a little different in the sense that there's everything from people painting oil paintings and getting their support through OnlyFans to all out pee. So, so for those that are really concerned about me destroying my reputation and losing my respect, let me clarify for a minute. So the name of my OnlyFans is Britney's Cabaret. And there's a reason I call it that. I don't know if you guys have watched movies like Chicago or Burlesque or Moulin Rouge. There's a huge difference between an all out strip club and burlesque. Burlesque has a little more class. It's more about upscale entertainments. Hey baby, what's your problem? Just cause a girl like to dress fancy and stand on the street corner near some whores, you automatically think she's hooking? Would you? <laughs> I would. One particular, there's one particular comment that I saw. They said something along the lines of, "You just something like basically, I just need to, like why can't I just be a truck driver?" And well, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> and to me, that's kind of like, how dare you? Like, just because you might just want to have one way of making your money, like, don't knock me. You know what I mean? Because it's like, all I can say about this is that, once again, it, and this is anybody who has contacted me or subscribed to my OnlyFans know that I am not lying about what I'm saying that I'm sending, like what kind of pictures I'm posting or whatever like that. I'm not lying. They got motherfuckers begging, <laughs> like, can't, please, please, can I? It's like, no, I, I, I meant that shit. You know what I mean? I'm doing this because I need more money. According to the Washington Examiner, 70% of all OnlyFans creators are female, while the other 30% make up men which means that there's 1.4 million American women and only 600,000 American men as OnlyFans creators. <laughs> and we're going to move on in Coco's journey at this point. So, I don't know. I've learned a lot about the trucking industry. Um... And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do videos on that, like just going back, reflecting on like what I've learned or how much money I've spent on this. And, you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I don't know if people are still going to be interested. Um, it's different for me, you guys, because my audience is like 95 percent male and like 5 percent women and that's a blessing and a curse within itself so i'm not really sure which direction my platform is gonna go in you know a lot of people have went away because they see that i'm not truck driving anymore um and i see that some people have stayed they don't care what i do as long as they get to see me a few moments later so yeah i just started having a new life now and I didn't think that I would do OnlyFans full time but fuck it my family knows about it and I really don't even have to answer to anybody but God so Jesus can't save these hoes why are you trying why are you trying <laughs> just like girl with booty cheek trucking like oh my booty god cheek Put Man, the, I'm listen. just tired of seeing sex online period period I don't want to hear about it no more. Put your vaginas away, please. Put like your lips up. Like some of y'all are some some fantastic people, but y'all just you sell yourself so short. Yeah, put the lips up, man. I, I've I've seen enough of. It. We had ten years of Instagram, man. I, if I see another bitch twerking, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Oh my god, I'm I'm borderline ready to, to delete the app. I'm like I'm so over, bro. You can't handle the truth. So I get asked this a lot, so I figure I might as well just make a video and explain it. No, I don't. That doesn't mean I'm hating on those that do. Uh, if that's your jam, high five to you, kudos. Make that money, girl. Um, I don't, I'm a solo female truck driver. By the way, I'm not offended by the question, but I'm out here alone, different cities, different states. All it takes is one guy who maybe has bought all my content and thinks I owe him something for nothing. So we don't fuck around with the fuck around because we're not trying to find out. Message. Well, that's the end of that compilation, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I didn't make that, uh, you know, pass any judgment on anybody. By all means, make your money how you make your money. And believe me, I got one for the males coming up because it won't just the females doing it. See, but I, I totally you understand, man. You know, when things get hard, you got to cut your overhead. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're looking to get in the truck and specifically box truck, and make sure you get down there in that description box and hit that Patreon link. And if you're looking to try to just simply get a consultation, also do it on Calendly. So, yeah, till next time, y'all. Peace.